Hello everyone, it's Hunter and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Q&A. I posted on my Instagram story and also on my community tabs literally so long ago and people submitted some good questions. So I thought I would finally get around to answering them. Um, I wasn't going to film this today, I was gonna wait, but the light is still good outside. It's like seven o'clock. We love when it is still light outside at seven o'clock. And um, I did my hair today and also I have makeup on. So I figured why waste an opportunity. So today I am just going to be answering those questions for you guys. If you haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel down below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to be a part of any kind of other videos, be sure to follow me over on Instagram so that you guys don't miss anything. Also, I like to think that I post the funniest Instagram stories of all time. I'm incorrect, but that's what my thoughts are. I watch my own story all the time. So if you follow me, you'll be able to see my stories. So anyway, with all of that, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First, let's go to the community tab on my channel. Where did I put? Here we go. Okay, so the first question says, love your content and your motivation for growing your channel. What is your favorite and least favorite thing about having a YouTube channel? Um, I'd say my favorite thing is probably the ability to connect to people that I otherwise would not have connections with. So someone who I would consider one of my best friends is someone that I met on YouTube and I hope that she feels the same way about me, but I have developed genuine friendships with people through the internet and I think that having YouTube channel. It allows me to like share my life with people and other people can share their life with me without us ever having met in person. And I think that's really cool. You can know about other people and not just like know about them, but like get to know them and be friends with them um, and things like that. So that's probably my favorite part. My least favorite thing is about, it's like about actually like YouTube and not, it's like specific to YouTube is that YouTube can be super unpredictable and so many people can blow up really, really quickly. And then other people work really, really hard for years and years and years and years and years and their content just doesn't get pushed out onto to I guess explore pages so it can be incredibly difficult to grow and I think that's something that is my least favorite. The next question says what would you say has brought you the most successful in success in terms of growing your channel's community? That's a really good question. Um, I would say connecting with other people. I'd say you have to put yourself out there and putting yourself out there on the internet is a lot easier and a lot less scary than putting yourself out in real life. So for me, I'm really bad at like meeting people in real life. I personally, uh, I'm the biggest, I have so much anxiety when it comes to meeting new people because I have a fear of being rejected. And for me, I have found that the genuine like community that I have gotten from my YouTube channel is just for me like commenting on people's videos and commenting on and like following them on Instagram, commenting on their posts, um, replying to their stories on Instagram, that kind of thing. Because if you're genuinely like doing that to other people, they're probably gonna do that to you too or some of them will um some of them won't but some will and i've found that being genuine with those people and just like connecting with them um again putting yourself out there is get, makes the biggest difference at least has made the biggest difference to me the next one i uh, asks what is your all-time favorite book it is really hard for me to put this into just one so i have a top three my top three are a thousand splendid sons by Khalid husseini i read this book when i was in high school and i've reread it since then and it's literally so good I just like, oh my gosh, it's literally so good. It has been one of my favorites since I read it. And I just genuinely like, it's so good. You have to read it if you have not. It is literally so good. And I feel like it's not one of those books that everyone's like, it's not like a book talk book, you know? And then my other two faves are ones that I actually read in 2021. I read uh, Where the Crawdads Sing last year. I don't know why, but that book just left me feeling some type of way by the end of it. Um, number three, actually I have four, <laughs> sorry. Uh, third is Malibu Rising by Taylor Dinkins Reid. The whole time I was reading it, I just like, I was 25% of the way through the book and I was like, this is gonna be one of my favorite books of all time. Another one that goes with that is Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Dinkins Reid as well. And kind of the same feelings that I had with the, with Malibu Rising, I kind of felt the same way about my feelings towards Daisy Jones and the Six. And I actually read that one not too long ago. So big fan. The next question I also feel like is a really good question. How do you manage your day-to-day -day work, YouTube and household work? So my day-to-day -day work is YouTube. So that kind of eliminates that I do not have a full-time 40 hour a week job. I actually don't even have like a traditional job at all. Um, I am on payroll at my church because I do childcare once a week, like 
like regularly once a week and then I will fill in for people on occasion on Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, whatever. There's all kinds of events happening at the church where they offer child care. So that's really the only place where I am on the payroll and then I do a lot of babysitting but people when they ask me to babysit their kids I am typically I have enough notice that I'm able to work around it. Also I like to be really ahead so I film my videos pretty far in advance so this video isn't going up for a few weeks and I'm filming it on March 24th because I have time and like I said I'm taking the opportunity to do a sit down video right now. So that and then I designate Fridays for doing like cleaning the house in ways that I need to. The kitchen kind of just like I do that every day. I clean it up. I sweep as necessary. Um, wipe the counters and all that stuff. Household work is a little bit. Um, I just kind of do it as it Day goes since I'm not in my regular since I don't have a regular job. Someone said what hobbies have you really have you been really into right now? When I tell you that the only hobby I have is reading books I am so serious that is the only hobby I have. I also like to play Sudoku and also solitaire on my computer. I don't really do anything else. Um, I sometimes hang out with my friend. I like to go to coffee shops, drink coffee, but is drinking coffee really a hobby? I don't know. I don't really have that many hobbies. Um, have you lived in South Carolina your whole life? I have. I have lived in South Carolina my whole life. I was born actually in Charlotte, North Carolina, but that's just because that's where my mom's doctor was, like officially with like a permanent address in two cities. That. And then all-time favorite movie, my all-time favorite movie. It's really hard for me to pick one, just like the books. Um, I have like a handful and they're all like older movies. I really love 10 Things I Hate About You, Joy Julia Stiles and Heath Ledger, just absolute perfection. I've seen that movie so many times. And then I also really, really love Legally Blonde. Neither one of those books, I mean, neither one of those movies are super profound and they don't make me feel really deeply. They're just like really classic movies to me and I could watch them so many times and never get tired of them. Someone said Kindle versus hard copy books. I actually did a video on that. So if you are interested in my thoughts on that, I will link it on either side. I don't know which side it is. Um, and then someone said, please do more Kindle videos. I'm working on it, so don't worry. What is your fave Starbucks order? Um, I don't think I have like one specific Starbucks order that I love, but what I have been ordering recently recently is a minty iced blonde vanilla latte. That's a lot of words, but I really like it because the blonde I think has more caffeine in it. Next is if you could only use one pen for the rest of your life, what would it be? That is the perfect question for me because I absolutely love pens. Let me grab it. Hold on. Okay, so I literally could not find the pen that I had in mind. Um, I have two faves, but I would choose the other one over this one. This is the Sharpie S gel. I really love the Sharpie S gel. It just writes so nice, but the other one is from Pintel. Uh, Pintel. I think it's Pintel is the brand. Uh, there it is. Okay. It's not Pintel, it's Pilot. <laughs> okay, so if I could only use one pen for the rest of my life, it would be this one. It is the Pilot precise V5 RT retractable rolling ball pen in extra fine point. It's this one. Um, I cannot find mine at the moment, but this is the one I would choose if I had a lifetime supply and I couldn't use any other pen ever. It would be this one. I love how fine point it is. So, uh, and I like that it's a gel stuff. So that was a really good question. I liked that one. Next, what's your favorite meal to make? Um, I don't particularly like cooking to be completely honest with you, but if like the end result were what we're going for here, I really like, oh, I do like to make mac and cheese cause it's pretty easy. Like from scratch though, not like from a box with like flour and shredding your own cheese and stuff. Um, and then I also, making pizza is fun. I don't like making the crust, but I like putting it together. But there is this meal from HelloFresh. It is uh, the firecracker meatballs. And if I'm being honest, that is a bomb. It's a bomb meal. I really love it. I hate touching raw meat. So anything that involves touching raw meat is not my thing. So that kind of makes it difficult, but I don't mind touching raw ground beef more than I don't like touching raw chicken, if that makes sense. <laughs> that was a really dumb way to explain it. What do you wish you knew about YouTube before creating a channel? YouTube has changed so much since I started my channel, so it's really hard to say. I wish that I would have been more confident. Um, so I guess it's not something about do, but I just wish I would have been more confident. I wish I would have understood like algorithms and stuff better. Um, and I wish I would have understand the importance of or understood the importance of engagement 
engaging with other people because I don't think that's changed at all. I do think that like how you engage with people has changed, but I don't think the fact that you should engage has changed at all. So that is probably the one thing. What are your long-term vlog goals? I would love to make enough money that Mason could quit his job and we could do this together. That would be literally a dream come true. We would probably be able to make way cooler content, but I would love to just be able to show you guys my life for as long as you guys are watching and also for as long as YouTube decides it wants to exist. The next question is, have you ever considered releasing your own presets? I actually have and I've made them. I put them on my Etsy shop a long time ago and I just really was not happy with how they turned out so I took them off and right now I'm using Aspen Ovard presets on all of my pictures and on my thumbnails and also like any photos I use for uh, photography. I actually use Aspen Ovard desktop presets and so does my husband actually. <laughs> so uh, the chokehold that Aspen Ovard presets has on me is pretty strong. <laughs> so uh, there's that. The next one is, will you and Mason ever get a pet? This is a good question. I feel like we have discussed the possibility of maybe getting a dog at some point in the future, not the near future. We definitely don't want a dog in the house that we live in because you can't really have dogs outside at all. And the only kind of yard we have is like a porch. We don't even really have a yard. Uh, so if we move and have like a nice big yard, maybe when we have kids, we'd like to get a dog. But for now, no, probably not in the next five years. I love dogs, but I will, I spend the most time at home. I'd be the one taking care of it most. And uh, I just don't want to do that right now. The next question is, what is the hardest thing about YouTube? The hardest thing is growing. Oh my gosh, growth has been so hard. For me, consistency is like the easiest thing because I've been doing it, doing YouTube and making videos for so long. I've been posting like three videos a week, nearly three videos a week consistently since the beginning of 2020, I think. And so for me, consistency is really easy, but growing has been so hard. I know I have experienced like exponential growth <laughs> in the last couple of months, but I've literally earned more subscribers. I've had more growth in the last year than I have in the first six years of my channel combined. So growth, definitely the hardest. Um, let's see. What did you think of The Lost Apothecary by Sarah Pinder? I don't remember your review of it. Yeah, so that book was actually so good. It was in my top 10 books of 2021. It is getting darker outside now. Can you tell? It was in my top books of 2021 and I really, really enjoyed it. I think because I, it was really unexpected to me. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I kept seeing it all over TikTok. So I was like, we're gonna give it a try. And I guess like the word apothecary to me, I wasn't thinking, I was thinking about like, I'm not gonna say witches, but I was thinking like new agey things and like I'm not into new agey things. So I wasn't really sure what to expect. I thought I'd just give it a try. And if I didn't like it, I figured I'd put it down. But it was so much better than I expected it to be. It takes place in London, which is my favorite city in the world. That's right. That's London right there. That's the parliament building, this picture. Um, or at least this part of the picture is. So I really enjoyed it. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. Yeah, that was the last thing there. And then someone asked if there are any must read books that are not released yet. Personally, I do not read a ton of ARCs and whenever I do read them, I tend to wait so long to read them that they're already released. There are um, none that I have read, but there are some that I'm really looking forward to reading that I have already pre-ordered and I know I will devour them in one day. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I'm really looking forward to that. One that I haven't read yet is Hook, Line, and Sinker by Tessa Bailey. And I know that, um, that whenever people submitted these questions, the book had not come out yet. So that's how long it's been since I uh, have looked at these questions. Um, I'm trying to think of any others. I don't tend to buy books. So whenever I do buy them, it's by authors that are like must buys for me. So that's why those two have pre-ordered, but those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head. And then someone said you should start a bookstagram. To be completely honest, I do have a book Instagram, but I am really bad at posting on it. It's Hunter Mark Reads, so it's the same as my username here, but just with reads at the end, really bad about it. So those are all the questions. I was so excited about all of the book questions I got because I love reading. Books are a good time for me. And so anyway, that is all I have for today's video. It is rapidly getting darker in this room. It was so much brighter when I started filming, but that is all I have for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me over on Instagram for future Q and A's and anything like that. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.